Us. We're going to have an entrepreneur edition. And the first person that we're going to blast it off with is Ben Omar Arrington. Yes, what's going on, man? I said your name right? Yeah. Damn, I was practicing. <laughs> yeah. So, the view, if the viewers don't know you, what do you do? Tell them the many things that you do. Um, well, first of all, I'm a college student. Yes, um, coming that's Coming out of uh, Columbia University. Mm -hmm. and, um, Good stuff. As far as, uh, you know, extra, extra activity, activities, I'm into um, modeling. Mm -hmm. um, I'm into uh, a little bit of acting. Um, I'm actually trying to get uh, my singing together. Singing? Yeah, I recorded this track like about two weeks ago. Um, and I, it was edited by, uh, the producer was uh, Chris Stiles uh, from the Bronx, that's where I'm from. And, um, but it's sounding good, it's sounding pretty good. So, so you're telling me you sing it now? Like that was even in your profile. I wasn't even ready for that. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's something that's something that nobody knows. The hit on he he gonna hit first hit on my on Fat Boy Radio. Yeah, I guess so. now I guess you know, when I saw your resume, I was like, Oh, I guess you can't do the little freestyle session that we have at the end. Now you're gonna have to sing it. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's kinda I need some uh I still need a little help on that though. Definitely next time though. Next time? Yeah, definitely next time. If you I, I, I'll, come, I'll come with some tracks or something like that. If you sound better than Rihanna, you good. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay, so let's let's just break it down right now. So right now you're doing a lot of modeling. Yeah. So what's up with that? Um, well basically uh as far as uh as far as modeling, I I'm, I'm on two different sides. I'm I'm, I'm in front of the camera and I'm in back of the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm behind the camera. Now when I say in front of the camera, um, you guys have seen everybody on Facebook, everybody on Twitter, everybody who visits my, um, my website, benarrington.com. Um, you guys see the, the material that I come out with. Mm -hmm. um, you, you see uh, my high fashion shots, you see uh, my runway uh, videos, and you also see um, my episodes, my fashion rings. Right now I'm up to four episodes. So um, how did you get the idea to do the fashion ring episodes? Well, actually, you know what? YouTube. You know, you, everybody's familiar with YouTube, Yeah, right? a great way to market yourself. Last year, um, in, at the end of 08, I was I was trying to figure out a way that that I could market myself and market everybody in my community. Mm -hmm. I'm from the South Bronx. There's a lot of up-and-coming... Yeah, there's a lot of up-and-coming talent in the South Bronx that's mm -hmm. not acknowledged. So, um, I, when I came out with episode one uh, and episode two, uh, there's a lot, I, I reached out to everybody in the South Bronx as far as like um, uh, photographers, designers, mm -hmm. uh, makeup artists, um, uh, even even uh, uh, producers as far as like um, you know rappers, singers. Yes. And um, any basically my fashion ring is a is a, a, a episode that brings everybody together, so everybody else can see them. That's not in our local area. So it's not all about you. Nah. Wow. Um, it's pretty good. So like, how has it been received right now? Uh, it's going pretty good. I mean, actually, the fourth episode was the episode that everybody was anticipating. Yeah, because you were like killing me with that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yo, it's gonna take a day. It's gonna next tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the new the new video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then like the next day, I'm chilling. In 30 minutes, I'm about to drop this. Get ready for this. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody. I mean it. On Twitter, like people was um, I, I was actually a whole month late of dropping episode four. Yeah. I was a month late. It was supposed to be dropped in the beginning. No, no, at the end of uh, September. Mm -hmm. Because at the, at the beginning of September, I had dropped a commercial for episode four. Yes. And um, and you know, school got into the way, and I couldn't move as fast as I could when I did it in the summertime. In the summertime, I moved real fast. Everything was like boom, mm -hmm. boom. Every week, I was. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. basically, um, basically, uh. People on Twitter, they were saying, uh, "Oh, where's episode four at, man? Like, we waiting. Yeah, the we commercial and everything. We see it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I came out with it, and everybody loves it right now. I think it's, I think it's at, I think it's almost at 200 views, and it's only been out for like about, about three days now. Do you do your own marketing? Like, I see you all over Twitter, all over Facebook. Yeah. I think I might jack a little marketing technique for my videos. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. That's nah. why I got you on the show today. You got to so you learn got your to. secrets. It's learn your secrets. You got to. It's a it's a good tool. I mean, you got you know you get, use it to to your advantage and uh and people will definitely respond to it. Um, you know, you I mean it's good material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'll be watching. Like, I'll be watching the one when you're walking and you tell me about the dining oh, with yeah. the cars. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to yeah, I'm trying to steal some techniques. <laughs> 
there, right? Yeah, I was watching some of that too. Just drinking a smoothie here, you know, trying to <laughs> yeah, load my you car. Have like, you have like a, a restaurant that you have connects with. Like, what's going on? Yeah, I actually, um, I don't like to cook, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so what I do is uh, Alexander Cafe. Yeah. Uh, uh, the the chef's name is uh, is Chris. Mm -hmm. and I would go to him like maybe like once a week. Yeah. And uh, and he'll make me like um, you know, he'll make me some food. So uh, I, you know, I, I give him I give him some for it. But mm -hmm. um, that Alexander Cafe is like the best cafe in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And um, I think they're about a good three years in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's one of those it's one of those cafes where um, it's a romantic cafe. So if they feel if you bring your girl there, it'll be you and your girl there, and then everybody's catering it to you. Okay. So it's like something that it's like a private kind of a restaurant where you can go to. How much are meals? How much are meals? Um, I was balling out here. Yeah. It's not. It's not expensive. I mean, it's reasonable. <laughs> it's reasonable. It's reasonable. For you, a reasonable. Uh, <laughs> reasonable enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's reasonable. I say, um, Ale okay, the Alexander beef burger. I love cheeseburgers. Oh man, that would be about. I would say like twelve bucks with the fries. Doesn't they have models number one rule to stay away from cheeseburgers? See, all right, let me talk about that one with uh, like, everybody. Everybody like. Everybody how do you do this? <laughs> Everybody keeps saying like, cause I eat, I eat whatever I want to eat. I, I know you're in the gym a lot. You said that was like your second home. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, okay, my episode. I don't know if you saw my episode two. I watched all of them. You watched them? Yes. All right, episode two. I was talking about the chips and the ice cream, and I, I eat, I eat everything. I eat everything that everybody else. Eats. Yeah, but I saw you like discarding the chicken in one of these videos. She was like, oh, I'm about to have these chips, and you're like, no, nah, I can't do that. That's gonna have my balling <laughs> career. That's because I had a show that weekend, so <laughs> it's all about control. You gotta control when you eat. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta control when you eat fat food. You gotta, you can eat fat food. You gotta just gotta be controlled. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta when, you gotta when, like let's say maybe like a few days out of the week or something like that. Don't mm -hmm. eat it. You know what I mean? Maybe like one day and you know what I'm saying? It's, you gotta have a good diet. You know what I mean? You just can't OD on the food so and bad food. Yeah, you're saying that's a fat boy radio. That's a, that's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is your modeling resume looking like? Like, who have you done, like, shows for? Like, Runway? And um, it's deep. It's pretty deep. Actually, um, uh, my first Runway show is, uh, it was on, on Grant's Tomb mm -hmm. in Harlem mm -hmm. on 123rd um, Street. And, uh, that I modeled, um, Dwayne Fish. Mm -hmm. uh, he's actually my favorite designer. Okay. Dwayne Fish is my Dwayne Fish menswear is my favorite designer. He, uh, uh, I believe he's coming out of Boston. I believe he's coming out of Boston, but he travels a lot. Um, if it's not Boston, I'm sorry, Dwayne. <laughs> but, but, like I have a question, but it's like it seems like it was too far. Like how did you even get into modeling? Um, my grandma was a model. Your grandma was a model, so yeah. it runs in jeans. Like, yeah. Yeah, my, my grandma. I never had jeans like that. <laughs> my, my grandma, she uh, she actually um, initially, I was in ballroom dancing, mm -hmm. um, and I had moved out of New York. I left ballroom dancing. I, I left everything here. I, I moved out. I moved to PA for about three, four years, mm -hmm. and um, I started playing sports. And I realized. Play sports too? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I played it, but it ain't for me though. Yeah, it's like, it's one thing I could win it. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not too good at basketball, but um, but basically I, I realized that there was really nothing for me in Pennsylvania, and I came back at the right age. When I came back, I immediately jumped into the modeling industry because I was already in entertainment as far as ball and dancing, mm -hmm. so I, I already knew the connects. Yes. And um, I, I don't know why I didn't get back into ballroom dancing. I like it. I love it. You know what I mean? But I kind of went in, onto the into the camera style. I kind of went into the limelight 